What's going on everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Film by Ross. Today we're going to be unboxing the Stranger Things edition of the Polaroid One Step 2 i-Type camera. Now this is not a new camera by any means. Um, this camera's been out for probably almost about a year, maybe over a year, but since Stranger Things 3 is dropping July 4th, um, Polaroid has partnered with them to kind of create this awesome branded edition of the camera. Um, so we'll take a look around the box. Uh, first things first, you see that the camera is upside down. So not to spoil anything, if you haven't seen the show yet, but there is a part of the show called the upside down. So it's really awesome to see the kind of nods that, you know, they flipped the Polaroid logos, um, they flipped all of them, and then they've kind of themed the entire camera color scheme of the show itself. So it's really great to kind of see around the box, um, just kind of all the different, you know, elements that they've put into it that are kind of just a nod to the show and things like that. So kind of jumping into it, uh, turning around the box, we see the first kind of hint of Stranger Things stuff. Um, we've got a film frame, which they also sell uh, Stranger Things branded film, which has got a ton of different borders and things like that. And I actually ordered three packs when I bought this, um, when it released on Monday. So I've got those in the freezer and hopefully we can try those out sometime soon. Um, it's really great, you know, flipping around the box. Um, you know, you see some more nods to Stranger Things itself, you know, with the upside down, um, the upside down camera here. Um, another Stranger Things film frame that's upside down as well. And um, another kind of not spoiler alert, you've got the powerful anti-monster flash. So if you haven't seen the show, definitely check it out. It's, it's one of the best on Netflix. I highly, highly recommend it to anybody. So on the bottom, there's nothing really special or anything like that, serial numbers. So let's jump right into it. I've got my handy dandy knife here, which is way bigger than it needs to be, but you know, hey. Can never go wrong with these things, am I right? So we'll cut right here. So there's two little kind of sticky things holding the, the top down here. Let's see. This one here. All right, go cool. set the knife down. Let's open her up and see what we get inside. First we're greeted by this cardboard sleeve will slide this out. Kind of set the box to the side here. All right, let's find where's the, ha, ah, here we go. Here's the latch, open this up. And first thing we're greeted with is the camera. Slide that out. Kind of, we'll set that to the side right here. While we get everything else out. put this off to the side. So, get your user manual. It's really awesome. This camera also takes the 600 type film, which is um, got the battery in it it's for older cameras. So it's really nice to be able to take this, the i-Type film and also the 600 film as well. So if you see that in the store, uh, definitely pick some of that up as well. It's, it's just as great. Next thing we get here in this little bag, is USB charging cable. So the nice thing about this camera is it's got an internal battery instead of whether with the 600 style cameras, the battery's in the film pack. So with the iType film, it's a little bit cheaper because the battery is in the film pack. It's, excuse me, the iType cameras are cheaper uh, film wise because the battery's in the camera rather than the film pack, which is also a little bit better for the environment as well. So that's really great that they include a rechargeable battery and a cable to charge it. You don't get a brick to plug it into, but hey, everybody's got one nowadays with phones and such. Next thing we get looks to be a strap. Let's see if it's got anything written on it or if it's just a ordinary strap here. Looks to be just kind of like a regular Polaroid original strap, nothing too special about it. Just kind of tossed it to the side here. And certainly, last but not least, what all of you have been waiting for, the camera. So this is actually the viewfinder type of camera. The original version of these cameras didn't have this pointy viewfinder right here. Um, 
it actually was only right here, which was a huge complaint by a lot of people originally. So they kind of took that advice and, you know, added some extra viewfinder so it wouldn't tilt on your face and you could try to get pictures a little bit better. So you see the nice blue um, Stranger Things themed. There's a sweet little nod to Stranger Things on the top. You've got your film counter here. Um, you've got the power on off switch here, which is branded red as well, which is kind of awesome. And then we've got the front of the camera. So we'll flip it around since it's a upside down cam to see you've got your Polaroid branding upside down as well as the logo and the iTape camera as well as the One Step 2 logo upside down. So nothing about this camera is really new um, other than the color and kind of the upside down theme of the whole entire camera. Uh, the flash is the same, the lens is the same, power is the same, uh, film slot is the same. So nothing's really changed about this camera other than the branding itself. So this camera retails for $109 alone. And if you want the film packs uh, that are included with it, it's 160, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I can post links down in the description below of all the prices and where to find all that stuff. Um, so if you've never really shot Polaroid film before, it's really great. Um, it's not as good as it used to be for sure, but it's definitely improving. Uh, Polaroid Originals is trying to make it a little bit better. So hopefully over the next couple of months and the next couple of years, we'll start seeing the film try to get more and more like it was originally. Um, they also include on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, another kind of uh, little nod to Stranger Things as well, um, with always use the flash uh, because it kills monsters. Um, what is this? It says at least uh, 60 centimeters or two feet away from the Demogorgon, which is another nod to Stranger Things, which is kind of cool. Uh, just like a little subtle thing that you know you don't really see a lot, which is really awesome. And then it says property of HNL, which stands for Hawkins National Laboratory. So definitely check it out. Um, the Polaroid Originals One Step Two I Type Stranger Things Edition. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below, and I'll see you next time.